time to install our camera and the rest of the video system on your quadcopter. So let's open up our box, take out our camera, get to the bottom of the box where we have the spare parts box. No, we don't want that. We don't want the lens cover. We want this bag. In this bag, we have some screws. We need these screws to mount our camera. Be careful because these screws can be very, very small. Now we're not going to be using this piece here. We have a number of different screws depending on the setting we're going to use. We're going to be putting our camera into these mounts, which will be fitting right here. So the best thing to do at this point is, let's take our camera and see where it fits best. So move the video camera wire out of the way, and let's see, where does it go best? It's best to have the camera facing upward slightly. So we need to use these mounting holes and these mounting holes. I think the best thing would be to use that center hole and maybe the top hole so it's going upward. Let's try that. We need to find the screws that we're going to need for that here. This screw fits my one and a half millimeter driver. So you'll be working with a screw and a washer. So place those together like that. We'll start with the center hole and the center hole of our board just like that. Take your camera and find that center hole on the camera and let's start twirling that in. Good. That's a good start. I'm going to slide it. We don't want it too tight. Just enough to slide. Now that I got the screw hole in the center, I want to set the angle. When setting the angle for your camera, it's very important to know what side is the top. Obviously, this is pointing to the top, and that's the top. So I want my camera to be angled upward, like that. So if I do that, and flip it over, I see that I need to use that screw hole right there. So let's grab another screw. And this one does not have a washer. There's only two washers. Okay, just like that. Now I have these two screws in. Let's flip it over and grab the other piece. Some of these screws have Phillips heads, so you'll want to avoid those. I prefer the hex. Take the screw again, put the washer on, doesn't matter which side of this you're using. We're going to put that in the center hole. And apply it to the center hole right there. And screw that down. But not all the way. We want to have some play in that. So now that we have one plate on one side of the camera, you'll notice again we have the bolt with the washer and then the bolt without the washer. On this side, I just have one bolt with washer on the center and nothing else holding the plate on. Watch this, here's a trick. Set it up like a little chair, it's gonna stand up. And once it does, you know where you put the screw in on the other side, just do it on this side, it will find the hole and look at that, it just goes right in, simple. But before you tighten it down, put it on and you can still have a little movement with the camera. Put it down so it's flat. And now that it's flat, tighten those screws down better. You want all those feet flat when you tighten the screws down. Like a stable chair. And now the camera's not going anywhere. It's in its cage. And you can put all these other parts away for safekeeping for another day and another project. You can never have enough spare parts. At this point, you could take the cover off the camera, the little plastic piece, and put the cover on. 
you actually do need the cover for certain adjustments later on. There we go. You can now seat your camera in your quadcopter. Begin by taking the video cable. You'll notice there's two ends to it. This is the programming end and this is the connection end. And on the connection end, you'll notice the holes to receive the pins are closest to the top edge. That's the side you want. Because when you look at your camera, the pins are also closest to the top edge. Very simply, plug them in and they should satisfyingly fit right in there, just like that. Notice the four slits in the nose of your quadcopter. Simply take your camera mount and slide it into the four slits on the bottom of your airframe, just like that.